Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to everybody. Happy, Happy Easter! <laughs> Thank you. I think we're on the right page today. It's We're in the right place. Really nice to see you all. There's no one arrived yet, but we're, we're working on that. That's why we are going live just now before things have started, just to make sure everyone's aware of where we are and everyone can find us this morning. It's a beautiful day outside. It's absolutely stunning out there. I went down to the beach first thing this morning to, to watch the sunrise and it was just absolutely beautiful. So I hope wherever you are and whatever, when you, whichever home you're in, whatever or abode you're at, we pray, Lord, that, that, that God will be very present with you this morning. So, yes. Um, before we start, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is going to let the, the film run for a few minutes, put some music on and just to listen to a couple of Easter hymns. Um, but while we do, before we do that, just if you are just arriving and you don't know about the uh, service sheet, there are two ways to get the service sheet this morning if you haven't got one already. Uh, first of all, it's on our website, St Mark's Church Scarborough, no, St Mark's Scarborough website, and it's, it's um, on that website there. And also on this Facebook page, you can go and have a look on the Facebook page um, a couple of posts ago and the service is there so you can print that off or download it onto a different device. Right, it's lovely to see everybody. Happy Easter everybody. What I'm going to do is just going to go away for five minutes and just put some Easter hymns on just so everyone gets time to tune in and get sorted. So I thought it'd be nice to have a couple of Easter hymns. I think the day of resurrection and Jesus Christ is risen today. Is it going to work? I was going to see if it's going to work. It's not going to work. Nope. There we are. It's on now. So, uh, I'll leave that playing for a few minutes, allow everybody people to arrive. There's 50 people already arrived, so that's great. We've got a few more minutes before we start the service. Um, hopefully you get a chance to uh, get yourself ready. You might need, actually, one thing you could do with this morning is some, you've got some bread and some wine. We're going to do our agape service again. Um, so, so if you want to participate in that, please do so. Plus, I've also, if you want to get a little bit of a bowl of water, I'm going to, or some water, I'm going to renew our baptism vows this morning. So if you want to get a little bit of water, and to, so, so later on, you don't have to, but if you want to, that's going to be a nice thing as part of our service today. Hope you all got the service sheet. Hope you got the song sheet as well. There's one song, our uh, Easter hymn, which we're going to do at the end of the service is on that as well as the readings. Anyway, I'll leave you to it for a few moments as we sit, as we prepare for our worship this morning.
Good morning everybody. How lovely to see you all. Happy Easter. It's really nice to be able to welcome to you our service this morning. As you can see we're all ready, we're all set up. I've got the banner for the Easter, the, well the, the resurrection banner from the church. I've got, uh, we've got a little We've got Easter cross that Chloe made yesterday, it's all beautifully decorated. We've got Easter flowers, we've got our Easter candle, all sorts of things coming up this morning. And so it's really lovely as we gather here, uh, wherever we are in the homes and, and the places where we abide at the moment, as we gather together on this Easter morning, we come to celebrate the risen Christ among us. And it's just really joyful to be able to wave to you this morning and say Happy Easter. Oh, so there we are, we're all ready. Um, if one or two other things, just in case before the start of the service, we, we having, well, we're we not doing communion today, but we're having agape service. So if you want some bread, uh, I've, got, uh, I've got bread for Alison, Chloe and myself, um, which we'll share later. If you want to get some bread and some wine, you can well, you're very welcome to do that. And as you... We can't, we're not consecrating the bread and wine, but what we will do is have that spiritual connection as we share in bread and wine together. We remind us of ourselves of Jesus' love for us and how he gave his life, gave himself for us. Um, also to say, if, we, um, if you want, you, we're going to renew our baptism <laughs> vows as part of the service today. Uh, so if you've got any water at the hand... As you, as you might have, just happen to be at hand. Uh, we can get some water, a little bowl of water. And we will renew our baptism vows as part of the service today. And then finally, hopefully you've all got sight of an uh, order of service. I've, done, I've sent these out by email. So a lot of people have got them by email. Or if you haven't had an email from me, um, we've got them on the website, uh, St Mark's Scarborough website, stmarkscarborough.org. And we've also got them on this Facebook page. So hopefully everybody has got sight of our order of service. Just have a moment of quiet before we begin. Jesus, you are the light of the world, risen among us. We thank you that as we meet together in this way today, on this Easter Sunday, we pray that you will be very present among us, that we will feel and have that sense of your peace, your light and your risen love within us. And so we pray for our service today. We pray your blessing as we worship together in this way. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, let us begin. If we take our orders of service, we begin on the first page. We meet in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has, he has given he has us new, new life, life and, and hope. hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. God has, has claimed him for his, his own. He has brought us out of darkness. He, he has, has made, made us light, light to the, the world. world. As we gather on this Easter morning, every Easter we light our Easter candle. Uh, we, we have a different candle every year, a new candle. that reminds us of the light of Christ, that the candle is used throughout the year for different liturgies in different ways. Um, the candle is usually on, on a traditional Christian uh, celebration of Easter is lit at the dawn service. So the bonfire of the first light of Easter is lit and from that we light the Easter candle. So it also reminds us that Jesus is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the one from all things come. And so we're going to say a little prayer and we'll, we'll also mark the, the, the candle with, with, this, with nails to remind us of his love on the cross. So Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha, the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forevermore. Amen. 
And as we put the nails into the into the candle, we say, by his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us. And then we light the Easter candle. The light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. We're going to light the other candles on our table now from this light. Now, I've got a song for you this morning. We haven't, we've, we've been listening to some Easter hymns, but we're going to start by singing uh, an Alleluia, a very simple Alleluia, um, that comes from the Caribbean. And uh, the words are slightly different to what's on your sheet, I'm afraid. <coughs> I've changed it. If anyone knows me, what I'm like, I'm always changing things. Um, so our, our Easter Alleluia, it goes like this. It goes, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, that's not right. No, no. No, that That's got you all excited the there, didn't it? That's not the right one. <laughs> it goes, Halle, Halle, Hallelujah. Halle, Halle, Hallelujah. Halle, Halle, Hallelujah. For the Lord is risen indeed. Can we go a bit lower? It's a bit high there as well. <laughs> well prepared, eh? Halle, Halle, Halle. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. For the Lord is risen indeed. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. For the Lord is risen indeed. Come on, everyone, join in. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. For the Lord is risen indeed for the last time. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. Halle, 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 luya. Is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned and the way of life stands open. In our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Chloe's going to read our first lesson now from the letter to Paul's letter to the Colossians. The reading is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory <clears throat> to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, at dawn, on the first day of the week, <clears throat> Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, 
for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. I've got something to show you. There. Has anyone like one of those? These always remind me of Easter morning because every Easter we have an Easter egg hunt after the service at St Mark's and, uh, and Janet always gets a load of these Easter egg, these cream eggs in and we do this Easter egg hunt around the grounds of the church and, uh, um, and, and, and they get a token and then they get one of these. And uh, one of the nice things about it is that Janet always orders too many eggs or she gets more than enough just in case. And so one of the, one of the joys of being the vicar and one of the perks of being the vicar is if there's anything left, I might get one. So I always have one of these on Easter morning. It always seems to me, it reminds me of Easter and it's kind of the first chocolate I have on Easter morning. Question though, can anybody smell it? Can you smell my chocolate? Can you? No? Oh, can you touch it? Can anyone touch this, this egg? Can you touch it? No? What about, uh, can anybody eat it? Can you eat it? No, oh. So if you can't smell it, or touch it, or eat it, how do you know it's real? Well, well yes, you can probably see it, but I could be I could be cardboard, couldn't it? I could be a little cardboard cutout, and it could be anything in there. It could be anything. So the question is, how do you know it's real? Well, the real the real answer to that is that you trust me. I'm telling you, it's a cream egg, and so you believe me because you trust in what I tell you. Mm, interesting. We'll come back to that. This Holy Week and Easter has been rather different to what we've expected and experienced in the past. None of us have experienced this sort of Easter before. Um, I think York Minster said that it's 880 years in its history. Of 880 years, nobody, there's never been an Easter where no one has worshipped on that place. So it's kind of strange. We're in a very strange place and most of our churches, I imagine, this is the first time that they've stood empty throughout Holy Week and Easter. It's really hard to get our heads around it. I find it really hard, particularly on Good Friday, when I would normally be doing all sorts of things like the Walk of Witness in town and Good Friday, our, our, our service in the afternoon. I found it so strange that I found myself outside church. I did my, my daily walk and ended up at three o'clock outside church and thinking about you all and praying for you all. It felt very strange and I just needed some sense of normality and I felt I needed to, to be there and to, to, to have some sense of, of knowing what was going on. But it's not like that this year. It is different. We're in a different place. Our reading tells us about Mary Magdalene and Mary going to the tomb. They had expected Jesus to be there. They expected the body of, to be there. And they'd gone expecting to do a particular job, to anoint the body of Jesus, to do the things that they knew what to do. They were going to do something that was familiar to them, to, to do the rituals of life. 
to pay respects for the dead body of Jesus. But when they get to the tomb, they discover it's different. Life has completely changed. It's completely different to what they expected. Not only has there been an earthquake, but an angel of the Lord appears. Gosh, they shout. It's so scary that the soldiers are petrified so much that as if they are dead. The women are made of sterner stuff, though, you'd like to, be, I'd like to point out. And they aren't petrified in the same way, but instead they listen to what the angel says to them. They, they hear the angel say to them that this Jesus that you come to see, this Jesus that you look for, is not here. He is alive. He is risen from the dead. And they say, go out and tell his disciples that they will see him out in the world. Not in Jerusalem where they are, but out further away in Galilee, in places you didn't expect to see Jesus. The interesting thing I like about this reading is the fact that the women are afraid, fine, they're a, they're a bit terrified. But the other thing we are told by Matthew is that they are overjoyed. In other words, they believe that Jesus is alive. They believe because the angel has told them. They haven't seen Jesus. They haven't experienced the resurrection. They haven't witnessed anything other than hearing the angel say to them, he is alive. And they trust those words. They trust that teaching from that angel on that day, and they believe. It is from that point of faith that they go back out into the world and on their way to tell the disciples they themselves encounter the risen Christ. And in the coming days and weeks, those disciples and followers of Jesus, if that faith inside them, experience the very risen Christ in different places, in the isolation of their home, in their place where they stay. They find him in Galilee, on a beach, in a lake, they find him on the road to Emmaus and they find him in all sorts of places, often the places we didn't expect. Those disciples and those women experience the risen Christ in new ways. In some ways, maybe this Easter is important. I think we'll not forget this Easter in a hurry. And it's an important time to think that maybe doing it differently helps us. I was talking to Margaret, Margaret Arnell, who's uh, one of the readers at St Mark's. Who, Margaret and I have done our Holy Week and Easter services together for 13 years now. And it felt very strange not to be with Margaret this Easter. Uh, so I rang her on Good Friday and we had a long chat. And one of the things that we talked about was the way things are so different. And Margaret, the wise woman that she is, says, said, well, maybe it's good that it's different. Maybe it's good that things are different this year because maybe then we'll discover new things about the faith that we love so much. I pray that this Easter, as we take our Easter eggs and experience the joy, and hopefully you've all got one of these at home or something similar that you can taste and experience the chocolate of Easter, but as you eat your chocolate and as you, as you rejoice in this Easter feast, may, may you trust the words of Jesus. May you trust the words of scripture. May you trust the witness of the church from, from generation to generation to generation. And when we are told that Jesus is alive, we may believe. And having that faith in our hearts, may we go out into the world May we go out, well maybe not go out too far, but stay where you are, but maybe open our eyes to look at our world afresh. May we open our eyes and see the risen Christ, risen among us and within us. This year we've seen amazing new things emerge of the NHS doing amazing, incredible gifts of things. We've seen our communities showing great courage and our churches responding amazingly and doing new things. May we all experience the risen Christ afresh in new ways. And maybe, maybe, as we rejoice in the risen Christ among us, 
maybe others will also see the risen Christ in you and in me. Happy Easter, everybody. May God bless you and rejoice in the risen Christ among you. Amen. Well, with that in mind, we're now going to renew our baptism vows. Easter Sunday is a traditional day to renew baptism vows, and uh, it's a day often we have baptisms. We were, going to, we were due to have a baptism this morning. Um, alas, we can't do that, but we can renew our faith and renew that commitment to Christ. So the words of the baptism vows are on our sheet. Do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I, I reject, reject them. them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I, I renounce them. them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? I, I repent, repent of them. them. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I, I turn, turn to Christ. Christ. Do you submit to Christ as Lord? I, I submit, submit to Christ. Christ. Do you come to Christ, the way, the truth and the life? I, I come, come to Christ. Christ. And we new, renew our commitment to Christ and we declare our faith in the resurrection of Jesus. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried. He was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards, he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. This we have seen and this we believe. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for our fellowship in the household of faith with all who have been baptised in your name. Keep us faithful to our baptism and make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have some water near you, I encourage you to dip your finger in and remind you and trace the cross on your forehead as you renew your baptism vows. If not, I Ooh. offer you... May you be renewed in your faith. <laughs> May God encourage you to trust in him afresh. Amen. Amen. We've come to our intercessions and um, over the last few weeks in these services we've, um, we've been offering our prayers through, through texting and through put, putting comments on the thing. Can I just remind you that as we do that, we're, well, first of all to invite you to make prayers and pray for different things around our world. But can I just remind you, just don't, don't, make, don't make it um, uh, too personal. So if you're praying for someone in particular, maybe just put a Christian name rather than a full name, just to protect people's privacy. Um, but we just, as you say, please, please offer some prayer now. As we do so, last week we sang Kumbaya. So I'm going to sing that again as we remind ourselves of Christ's love for us and how he is very present among us. So please offer your prayers now as we make our prayers to Christ. Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, oh Lord, Kumbaya. Someone's crying, Lord, come by here. Someone's crying, Lord, come by here. Someone's crying, Lord, come by here. Oh Lord, come by here. Someone's hungry, Lord, come by here. Someone's hungry, Lord, come by here. Someone's hungry, Lord. Come by here, oh Lord, come by here. 
Someone's lonely, Lord, come by here. Someone's lonely, Lord, come by here. Someone's lonely, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, come by here. Someone's grieving, Lord, come by here. Someone's grieving, Lord, come by here. Someone's grieving, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, come by here. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. Come by here, my Lord, come by here. We make all these prayers in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, I understand what we've been doing with, with our comments for peace is just sort of giving thumbs up and hearts. But I understand today we can show hallelujahs and amens and all sorts of things. So I can see these things <coughs> flying up. So if you want us, as we share the peace today... Um, if you want to put other things, hearts or waves, all sorts of things, you can. the options are there. But we're going to share the piece now and just encourage you to press the, to press whatever button you want to press to so show your share the piece with one another. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And also with you. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to show your signs of peace to one another through whatever means you can on your technology. We're going to now um, bring ourselves to share in our feast, as we did last week, just to remind you that this is a agape, not communion. So if you're joining us late, um, we're not sharing communion today. We've been told that you can't consecrate wine and bread over the internet. But what we can do is share in this simple agape meal. Agape means love feast. It means um, a love meal. It was an ancient Christian tradition to gather together, to share in a meal together. And as they shared in a meal together, reminded themselves, and reminded of the very presence of the risen Christ among them. And so we're going to do the same thing today. So if you've got bread and wine, you're very welcome, whatever you've got in your house, um, to share in this feast together. And as we share in this feast, we, we remind ourselves that Christ is very, very present with us. Again, the words are on your sheets, and we'll turn to it's halfway down the second page. This is the table of welcome. All are free to come and eat. As we gather at this table, we remember these words of our brother Jesus. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. We come, we come to, to this, this table hungry and thirsty. Satisfy us, O God. God. As we gather at this table, we remember these words of our brother Jesus. Come to me all who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. We come, we come to, to this table weary and burdened. Give, give us rest, rest O oh God. God. The risen Christ is with us. Let, Let us, us open, open our, our hearts, hearts to God, God and to and one, one another. another. Amen. Amen. We take joy in this meal which we share together. And remember that Jesus, too, is here with us. 
in our midst are bread and wine, reminders of his promise to us. Bread, for he is the bread of life, and he nourishes us as we put our trust in him. A cup, to remind us of his sufferings. He took up on the cross with his friends before he was crucified, and his blood flowed. He suffers still with those who weep or sigh today, and with those in pain or distress. As we eat and drink, we remember Jesus who lived and died and rose again for us, and was present with his followers when bread was broken. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Bless, bless this bread, bread and bless, bless this fruit of the vine. vine. Bless all of us in our eating and drinking now. May our eyes be opened, that we may recognise the risen, risen Christ, Christ in our midst, in, in each, each other, other and, and in all for whom Jesus died. died. I invite you to share with me as we say together the prayer that <clears throat> Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. With this bread, remember Jesus. And with this cup, remember Jesus. I invite you to share now. If you have bread and wine mm. in your ta at your table, to share those things now. Let us pray together the prayer at the top of page four. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you have put in your life into our hands. Now we put our lives into yours. Take us, renew us and remake us. What we have been is past, and what we shall be through you still awaits us. Lead us on, Lord. Take us with you. Amen. parting words. <clears throat> As we leave now, let us do so in faith, trusting, trusting the risen Christ to guide, guide us and, and keep us. us. As we leave now, let us do so in hope, knowing, knowing the living God holds the future in his hands. As we leave now, let us do so in love, serving, serving others in thought, thought word and deed. deed. In the name of our risen Lord, as we leave now, let us do so in faith, in hope and in love. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. And a final blessing. May God the Father, whose glory Christ, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. <laughs> Hope you give a glass of champagne or something. Pop the cork. Hooray! <laughs> All of that. Right. What we're going to do now is we're going to finish with a bit of a, a bit of a high. We thought we'd finish 
if you're brave enough, we're going to suggest that you go out, if you can, if you're willing, to stand out. We're going to do a mass sing of Thine Be The Glory. You can do it in your living rooms, that's fine, if you'd rather. But open your windows. Um, if you feel like you need to um, get outside and sing Thine Be The Glory outside, that's fine. I think Alison and Chloe are going to stand at the window <coughs> and sing. We're um, singing out the windows, but it means we've got to stand on the sofa. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and sing it with you. Uh, we've got some music to go with it as well. So do join in. Hopefully the words are... You've got the words. It's on the same sheet that the reading so room. Uh, I'm sure you know the words, if not. So let's get this all in. Hang on. Can we have it nice and loud, then we can hear yeah. it? Yeah. Come here. Oh, there we go. Risen, conquering sun, endless is the victory thou or death hast won. Angels in bright raiment roll the stone away. Set the golden grave close where thy body lay. Come on, everyone, join in. Thy be the glory, risen, conquering sun. join in hope you all joined in with that that was marvelous we had a jogger stop outside they've joined in as oh well. really happy easter <laughs> <laughs> she says there was a jogger stopped outside our house to join in with that isn't that marvelous happy easter we're going to finish with our dismissal with the risen life of christ within you go in the peace of christ alleluia alleluia thanks be to god, god. alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. Well, I think we've all deserved uh, uh, a cup of tea or coffee or whatever it is now, a glass of port, or whatever you need at this point in time on Easter morning. Uh, certainly some chocolate if you've got some. And uh, as we rejoice in this Easter morning, I encourage you to go out and uh, to share that message. No, I don't encourage you to go out. So I didn't say that. Stay indoors. Stay indoors. But share the message of Christ's love wherever you can and however you can. 
Um, just to let you know this week, we will be continuing with our usual things of um, sea level, we'll do some more out uh, craft things on Tuesday and Thursday on the, on the toddler page. Uh, we'll be doing our coffee morning, oh no, tea party on Thursday afternoon at three o'clock. And our challenge this year, this week, is to have an Easter bonnet. So if you're gonna make an Easter bonnet, bring it with you to the tea party on this, page, this Facebook page at three o'clock on Thursday afternoon and send your photos in beforehand and we'd love to share some Easter bonnets with you. And if you've done an Easter garden, we haven't had many Easter gardens to show so far, but if you're doing an Easter garden this week, please send us your pictures, we'd love to share them. And then we'll be back here. Oh, Alison's doing mini music on Friday at 10 o'clock on the mini music page. And then we'll be back here next Sunday at 10.30 for our, our first Sunday of Easter service. I hope you have a lovely day, everybody. Happy Easter, God bless and keep safe and see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Happy Easter! Happy Easter!